121 injured, 17 firefighters missing and one dead in fires set off by lightning strikes in Cuba. A lightning ignited fire at an oil storage facility blazed out of control on Saturday in the city of Matanzas where four explosions and a blaze injured 121 people and left 17 firefighters missing, Cuban authorities said. Firefighters and other specialists are still trying to extinguish the fire at the Matanzas super tanker base where the fire broke out during a thunderstorm on Friday evening, the energy and mines minister said on Twitter. Authorities said about 800 people had been evacuated from Dubrok, the neighborhood closest to the fire. The government said it had sought the help of international experts in friendly countries with experience in the oil sector. Under Secretary of State Carlos Fernandez de Cosio said the US government was offering technical assistance to extinguish the fire. On his Twitter account, he said the proposal is in the hands of specialists for proper coordination. Minutes, minutes later, President Miguel Diaz Canal thanked Mexico, Venezuela, Russia, Nicaragua, Argentina and Chile for their offers of help. The first relief flights from Mexico and Venezuela were scheduled to arrive at Matanzas airport on Saturday evening. Cuba's official news agency said lightning struck one tank and caused a fire and the fire then spread to a second tank. As military helicopters flew overhead and water dripped onto the fire, thick black smoke billowed from the facility and spread more than 100 kilometers west towards Havana. Matanzas fire chief Roberto de la Torre said firefighters sprayed water on the intact tanks to keep them cool in hopes of preventing the fire from spreading. Cuba's health minister said late Saturday that 121 people were injured, five of them in criti critical condition, one dead. The Republic's presidency said 17 missing were firefighters who were around trying to stop the spread. The incident occurred as Cuba struggled to cope to cope with the fuel shortage. There was no immediate information on how much oil was burned or at risk in the camp, which has eight large tanks filled with oil used to run power plants. I was in the gym when I felt the first explosion. A terrifying column of smoke and fire rose into the sky. There was a strong smell of sulfur in the city. He said some people had also decided to leave the Versailles district which is a little further from the Stausi Park than Dubrok. Many ambulances, police officers and fire engines were seen on the streets of Matanzas, a city of about 1,40,000 people located on Matanzas Bay. Local meteorologist Elier Pilla showed satellite imagery of the area showing plums of thick black smoke moving from the point of the fire westward and reaching east of Havana. Thanks.